Hi everybody, I'm making a video from a place that I don't normally make these videos. Um, as we approach Holy Week, and you can see behind me the empty church, all the preparations have been made by, for our choir, for our altar boys, for our ushers, for the decorations, the altar angels, and now all that's left is for us to make the journey. And the journey of Holy Week is not just a, a journey through you know, theater where we sit in seats and watch something happen. It's a journey of transformation where we come with open hearts and we ask God to fill them and we, we seek to grow and, and revive and renew and refresh our faith. And the, mo the most beautiful part of this journey is the people that we make the journey with. Because if we have a, a beautiful choir and beautiful decorations and beautiful hymns but an empty church, then the journey goes for nothing. So I hope in this coming Holy Week, you will come and, and fill the pews, not because we need the, the numbers, but because you and I need the renewal that we have the opportunity to experience this week. There's no other week of the church here that's like this. There's no other opportunity to receive the sacraments to the degree we can receive them this week. Holy Communion eight times, Holy Unction. So I encourage you to come and to partake in this. The sermon series, if you will, is going to be specific verses of the Bible that are meant to help recharge and, and renew us. I know lots of people are tired, lots of people are stressed out, lots of people are frustrated. And this is an opportunity to come and slow it all down and to get some encouragement from Christ that we are worthy of his sacrifice, that he wants us, and that he bestows life to those in the tombs who go there with faith. We know that the common destiny for everyone is that we will all lay in the tomb someday, but that doesn't mean that life should be a, a slow journey toward nothing, but rather it's a, it's a beautiful, meaningful, purposeful, and sometimes difficult journey to everlasting life. And this is what we are assured of in, in the sacrifice on the cross and the resurrection of Christ. And this is what we're rem reminded of as we mark these days of Holy Week. I look forward to seeing you in church. Have a blessed Holy Week at Kalianasis.